Let's go over how to send an estimate over to Acumatica. If you have not done the connection to Acumatica, please see the training video connecting to Acumatica first prior to moving forward. There is some setup still need to be finished. First, we'll go back up to the company name, company setup, integrations, and we'll click on the setup icon for Acumatica. If you're using sub accounts, let's fill in the sub account number that you wish to default to. Next, we'll get down to the cost budget setup and the revenue budget setup. Here, we can determine if we want to set up the cost budget with task or task and cost codes, and same with the revenue, task or task and cost codes. You also want to set up how you want to send it over or what you want to use for your tasks to be created with. Here, I can choose divisions, subdivisions, or any of my sort types. I'll choose division for my cost budget, and I'll do it for my revenue budget as well. Down below, we'll choose the cost type budget expense and the cost type revenue income. You're going to be filling in the account group ID that you have in Acumatica to the matching cost type in ProEst. Here, I'm going to be using M for the material, L for labor, S for sub, E for equipment, and O for other. For my revenue, I'm going to keep the same account group for all five cost types. Last, you'll see three buttons down below. We have synchronized customers, which will bring over the Acumatica clients into the Perlos relationships. Synchronized cost codes, which will take the cost codes from Acumatica and bring them into the Perlos accounting codes. And synchronized database with inventory. We'll synchronize cost codes right now. Once that's complete, we can go up to company setup and accounting codes. Here, you'll see all your cost codes that were imported in from Acumatica. At this point, you want to start assigning your cost codes to the items in ProS's database. You can learn how to do that by watching the accounting code setup video. When we're ready to send an estimate over, we can click on the pen icon for the job we want to send over, change the status to award it, and at this time, we can either select an existing project to send to, or type in a new project ID, depending on if you have your numbering automated. We'll leave it at none and it'll create a new project. I'll click on save. And at this point, the project will start creating. Once ProS has finished sending the estimate over, we can go over to Acumatica and we can open it up to see what it was sent over. Under task, you'll see it broken down by the division setup of my database. In the revenue, I have my task set up, again using the account group revenue, showing me the total estimate. And then cost budget is broken down by the task, cost code, and the account groups with the total cost of the job. This concludes the video about Acumatica and sending over an estimate into Acumatica.